So when you have a line here on the last layer, do this algorithm to orient all of the edges. If you have here um, like an L shape, these two yellows, then do this algorithm to orient all of the edges and hold these two yellows at the back left. Finally, if you have a dot on the top, just the yellow center, then what you can do is do this algorithm to start off and then put these two yellows at the back left and do the algorithm for this pattern. So on the top layer, if you have only one yellow oriented and the other three aren't oriented, make sure to put the oriented one towards you and make sure you can still see an unoriented one. So if you put it here, you can't see the unoriented one, so this is the wrong way to hold it. You can put it at the front here, and you can see this one, that's the correct way to hold it. Then do this algorithm, it's called the soon. So this one, we have, once again, one oriented, but this time when we put it here, we can't see yellow here, so this is not the right way to hold it. We hold it this way, and we see yellow here, so this is the right way to hold it. So we could do the lefty version of it, but it's probably faster to hold it from the back and do the, the right, righty version of it, but from the back, like this. So this case, we call it the T-shape. Um, not sure why, it's called the T-shape. But um, the algorithm is basically sexy sledge, but with wide moves. So this one here, it's called the L. Um, once again, I don't know why, but this algorithm, basically a uh, rearrangement of the previous one. So when you have no corners oriented, and these two make, sort of make headlights and there's no headlights on the other side, then you have a pie case. Um, once again, not, not sure why it's called pie, but this is the algorithm. So this time we have four unoriented corners. However, there are headlights on both sides. So when we know we have a H pattern. Um, yeah, so here's the algorithm. And finally we have this one where we only have headlights on one side, no headlights on the other because these two corners are oriented. We have a U pattern. So uh, this is a pretty difficult algorithm to remember. So just got to remember it out of brute memory force. But anyway, here's the algorithm. So for two look PL. We're looking for headlights or no headlights. So what I mean by headlights is looking at the corner stickers. They match. These are called headlights. They don't match. They're not headlights. These are not headlights. These are not headlights. These are not headlights. So these are headlights. So we have a headlights case. I'm going to hold the headlights to the left and do this algorithm. After that, you should have the corners solved. So in this case, we look around, there's no headlights, no headlights, no headlights, and no headlights. So this is a no headlights case. Um, so we use a different algorithm to get the corners solved, like this. So after corners, first cases that you could get are these. These are called three edge cycles. Um, we're looking for opposite colors. So on, on the sides. So blue and green, these are opposite colors, and green and orange, sorry, blue and orange, they are not opposite colors. So this is the important side because they're opposite colors. 
the algorithm, we want to put the opposite color towards the middle when we start the algorithm. So like this, opposite color towards the middle, and continue on. Here we have another three edge cycle, but if we look at if we look for opposite colors, we know that these two aren't opposites. Green and orange are not opposites; they're right next to each other. But here we have blue, uh, green and blue, which are opposites, and they're on this side now. So the algorithm changes because we want to put this side in the middle as we do the algorithm, like this, into the middle, and continue on. So this is a case where we have all four edges in the wrong positions, and if you notice, they're all opposite colors. So this is called an opposite swap. These two need to swap, and these two need to swap. So pretty easy to recognize, and this is the algorithm. Finally, we have another case where four edges are in the uh, wrong spots, but this time we have them right next to each other. So these two need to swap, and these two need to swap. So these, this is called an adjacent swap because they're right next to each other. Uh, slightly longer algorithm, but also kind of easy to recognize. So here we go.